Welcome to the Tyler W. IQ software series, where in this session, we'll take a look at 7-Zip, an open source compression decompression utility for all your files and folders. Here we go. Let's say you've downloaded a file onto your desktop and you want to be able to open it to use it. In this case, it's an OVA file for a virtual machine and you find that the extension is 7-Z and you can't open the file. The 7-Z means it's been installed with 7-Zip or compressed with 7-Zip and you want to be able to open it. So you need to download 7-Zip in order to be able to unarchive that file. In order to do that, we'll open our browser of choice. In this case, we'll use Chrome and we'll search for the 7-Zip website. How do you do that? You just type 7-Zip in the search bar. 7-Zip, enter. It will give you a list of locations. The first one should be 7-Zip for you, 7-Zip.org. And that will open up the download page. That's their front page. You have a couple of options in here, Windows 32-bit, Windows 64-bit. These are the latest revisions. There's some earlier options below. We're going to download the 64-bit version for Windows here. We click on Download. It installs or downloads to our local machine. Uh, down in the taskbar, when it completes, you'll want to click on the executable, which is the 7-Zip install program. So when it's complete, choose it, and 7-Zip will give you the option to run through their install wizard. The install wizard only has a few choices here. One is it's going to ask you user account control. You're modifying Windows, and you want to do that, so we'll select yes. And then we'll pick the destination folder. I usually use just the defaults here. That's it. It goes through the installation program, and now 7-Zip is installed. Now that 7-Zip is installed, you should be able to open up that archive that, was, that you downloaded earlier. In this case, easiest thing to do, right-click. There's been a 7-Zip menu entry added. One of the choices is to extract files. We'll pick extract files here. Again, we can pick the defaults. You can choose where you want it, what you want the name to be. Uh, it's just easy to pick the defaults. It'll put it right on your desktop for you. And it will go through the decompression process. This is a fairly large file, the one that I've picked here. Again, 7-Zip can be used for multiple different files. It does not have to be strictly for OVAs. Uh, just like .zip or zip files are set up that way. Uh, it does take a while to complete. And we see here it took three minutes. So clearly I skipped ahead in the presentation. And now we have it available to us and we can import it using the OVA. Well, that's it for installing 7-Zip. In an upcoming session, we'll take a look at importing the OVA file into VirtualBox. The OVA, Open Virtualization Format Archive, or Open Virtual Appliance, is the virtual machine. Thanks for watching, and join me for more installs and reviews in my Tyler WIQ software series.